5 Sinking Cities That Might Be Underwater Soon Number 1. Venice, Italy. If you're familiar with Venice, you're probably aware of the high water, which occurs frequently when the tides are high. Venice is sinking at a rate of 0.8 inches per year as a result. This city has been said to be sinking for several years, but a recent study suggests that it may be completely submerged sooner than expected. According to a new climate change report, if global warming continues unabated, Venice will be underwater by 2100. The primary cause of Venice's sinking is plate tectonics. The historical city is located on top of the Adriatic Plate, which is being absorbed by the Apennines Mountains, which means that the mountains are consuming the region. Italy began construction on a flood barrier with 78 gates spanning its three inlets in 2003. It was given the name Moses. The dam was supposed to be completed in 2011, but has been delayed until this year. Number 2. Houston, USA. Parts of Houston are sinking at a rate of 2 inches per year, as a result of heavy groundwater pumping. The city is heavily reliant on aquifers, which are porous rock bodies that act as natural filters to supply water to homes, businesses, and farms. Overpumping can deplete these aquifers, causing the land to compress and sink. The Houston Galveston area is one of the most prone to subsidence in the United States. By 1979, the city had experienced nearly 10 feet of subsidence over an area of nearly 32,000 square miles. Infrastructure destruction, flooding, and the loss of wetland ecosystems have all increased in recent years, resulting in visible changes to low lying coastal regions. As Houston sinks, it becomes more vulnerable to increasingly frequent disasters such as Hurricane Harvey, which destroyed nearly 135,000 homes and forced 30,000 people to flee. Number 3. Dhaka. Bangladesh. Dhaka is under increasing strain as a result of climate change. People used to be able to relocate to avoid the worst of seasonal flooding, but the increasing occurrence of water logging, which is simply the saturation of soil with water, is making farming extremely difficult and risky. Crop varieties cannot withstand salt water. According to the New York Times Bangladesh contributes only about 0.3% of greenhouse gas emissions that contribute to climate change, while experiencing some of the worst effects of rising sea levels. Bangladesh will bear the brunt of the consequences, despite contributing little to the industrial pollution that causes climate change. Not only are the seas rising, but the land is sinking as well. Because of the highly polluted rivers. Locals frequently rely on groundwater pumping for drinking, causing the land to deflate. The problem is exacerbated further by poorly constructed sea walls and a general lack of infrastructure. According to Bangladeshi scientists, if current trends continue, approximately 18 million people will be displaced by rising sea levels by 2050. Number 4. Bangkok, Thailand. Flooding is a common and ongoing occurrence for the more than 10 million people who live in Bangkok, Thailand's capital city. The city has an average elevation of only 1.5 meters above sea level and is located at the southern end of the Chao Para River Basin, which causes frequent flooding problems as a result of urbanization and climate change. The city was once known as the Venice of the East because of its canals, but many of them have sadly been paved over due to increased urbanization. Because of the increased weight from increased urbanization and unregulated groundwater extraction, the country's capital is sinking twice as fast as it was a decade ago sinking 1 to 2 centimeters per year. Surprisingly, scientists predict that the city will be completely submerged underwater within the next 20 years. Number 5. Miami, USA. The entire east coast of the United States is in grave danger, with Miami in particular being extremely vulnerable to rising sea levels. Because of ocean currents and the city's low ground, sea levels in Miami are rising faster than in many other parts of the world, causing flooding, contaminated drinking water, and significant damage to buildings and roadways. The rising tide has become an unavoidable part of life in Miami, rising at a rate of one inch every three years. Scientists predict that the sea level will rise at a faster rate in the next 15 years, adding an additional six inches. 
definitely not ideal for Miami. Of course, this means that large portions of the city will soon become permanently uninhabitable. The rest of the United States should pay close attention to how Miami handles its sea level epidemic if it does not want to lose a significant portion of its economy.